Squirrel is based on a character by Melanie Watt. A whole week away? Scatty's going to miss you like crazy. Ah, oh, what are you talking about? I'll be fine. Do you have extra sunscreen, Richard? Your cactus cousin does live in the desert, you know. Come to think of it, all that dry air can't be good for your photosynthesis. Maybe you should just stay home. It is take your kid to work day at the stash and tomorrow. That would be fun. No, not. Relax, Scare. It's just for a week. Well, Richard won't be going anywhere if I can't get the air out of this mattress. <laughs> I'm on it, Scary. Big mistake, air mattress. Big mistake. Well, you've got your leaf brush, Mr. Sun hat, rain hat, fog hat, backup fog hat. Say it, go. Say it. <laughs> Okay, I, um, I guess it's time to go. Bye, Richard. Have fun. Huh. No Richard all week. <laughs> Not sure it frees up some of my time. <laughs> what happens to all the air you do? You're welcome. <laughs> Come on, Richard. Time for breakfast. All right. This is gonna be a long week. Breakfast is served. Wow. Usually I have to come to your house to eat your food. <gasps> oh, okay. What does a fire truck say? Wow, wow, wow. That's right. The fire truck says wow, wow. No, no, no. You're trying to take care of me, and I fell for it. I, I feel so, 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 so... Use your words. You can't stop yourself. I'm not your Richard. Sounds like someone needs a nap. Well, I guess I could use a... No, no! Stop caring for me! What about your breakfast? Are those clean socks? Take a hat with you! You're not the boss of me. I could try to be. Vitamins, Richard. <sighs> well, I guess I'll just get a little sun on my own. Shoes untied. Let me get that for you. Watch. Learn. Two laces cross, just like so. One comes up, it turns to make a bow. The other goes around it. You sure are a big fella. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm late. <sighs> I just need someone to... Ow! Huh? Oh, it's just a rock. Just a helpless, defenseless... <gasps> Are you okay? You can't stay out here all by yourself. And I shall call you Stanley. Come on, boy! <laughs> Whee! Whee! -hee! Whoa, I got ya! Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! How we doing over there? Warm enough? Might get cool tonight. There you go. Good night, Stanley. Just in case you get thirsty. Good night. <laughs> really? Really? Okay. Come on. There we go. A nice, healthy lunch. Uh, what are you looking at, Stanley? Oh, you. Come on, Stanley, lunch first. Hello? Hi, Dave. Just hanging with my rock, Stanley. Stanley, what are you doing? Dave, I'll have to call you back. Hmm. Naming a rock. <laughs> That's crazy. Right, Blowy? He looks 
looks more like his mother. Go, you got it. Stanley! <laughs> he's okay. Whew, he's okay. Might be too early for swimming lessons. Those are lovely earrings, Mildred. Balsa Shopping TV. <laughs> Majestic Lady Collection. Great! Do you think you could, um... Mildred, Stanley is not a paperweight. What? It's Take Your Kid to Work Day. I brought my rock, Stanley. He's just hanging out. Can he hang out on my newspaper? I guess. <laughs> Making sure the shelves are stocked is part of my job. Stanley! Is this your rock? Because that window's coming out of your pay. Stanley wouldn't do that. It's pretty obvious he did. No, my Stanley is a good rock and he... Okay, that might have been Stanley. Take your kid to work day is over! All children go home now! Including you. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. Wasn't that fun? It really felt like we were walking on Mars. Stanley, is this sticker from the gift shop? We didn't pay for this. Well, we don't know he stole it. Maybe it got stuck to him by accident. Stickers can be very sticky and they stick to stuff all the time. And Stanley gets stuff stuck to him. How much? Nine dollars. Nine dollars? I can't believe you stole it. Which he didn't. Stanley, are these your new friends? Do you all uh, live on this street? Well, I'm sure your parents are wondering where you are. Come along, Stanley. Time for your piano lesson. Hmm. I'm not so sure about your new friends. They seem a little... <gasps> Mildred's earrings! Stanley! You can't take things that don't belong to you. It's not right. Okay? Okay? It's pretty obvious you feel bad. Which means you've learned your lesson and this will never happen again. And in the morning... All the good rocks had turned to gold. Good night, Stanley. <sighs> Maybe I'll turn in early to... <laughs> You're listening to Rooster in the Morning. All rooster sounds all the time. Now here's Johnny with the news. A robber is amongst us, Balsa City. That's awful. The robber broke in by smashing a window. The police are looking out for a brick or perhaps a rock. Probably one of those shady rocks you were with the other day. I don't want you seeing them anymore. Raisins in your oatmeal? No? Fine. Yesterday you loved raisins. Today it's no raisins. Ow! Mmm, nature's candy. It's hard to keep up with you, Stanley. It's all I'm saying. You don't think that Stanley could have broken into those homes, do you? He's not a criminal, right? Well, that's just what I heard. But if he is, is it my fault? Well, it's all right, it's all right. And if it is my fault, then will Richard become a delinquent too? Yes. Nah, it's gotta be those hoodlum rocks he was hanging out with. I'm gonna stay up all night to be sure that Stanley doesn't sneak out. Sleepover party! With no sleeping. Awake all night party! And that concludes Late Night Owl TV. All owl sounds, all the time. He looks so innocent when he's sleeping. <sighs> so what you want to do? I brought a five-hour mini-series about the man who invented the golf cart, and I made snacks. Warm milk slushies, turkey cookies, and fettuccine Alfredo. Mm. Dave, no. That stuff will make us fall asleep. Ah. Ow! Who threw that? You know what else makes me sleepy? Whales with a non-stop woo ah, woo Stanley! <gasps> Dave! Stanley's gone! Bart Stanley, very bad. That stolen cake, stop! <laughs> Aw, they look so happy. Stanley, we know you're in there. Come on with your hands on. Come out the front 
front door. Because no one's in the back of the house. No one at all. You can send Stanley out the back. No, Dave. Let's turn him in. It might be the best thing for him. Don't fight us, buddy. Just relax. This rock escaped from prison last week. He was in prison? Yep. Been in his whole life. His whole life? That's fantastic! Stanley was always bad, so Richard can come home. I won't make him a criminal after all. Hey, hey. When is Richard coming home? Tomorrow. Okay. He looks good. You really do, Richard. So green. Are you hungry, Richard? I can make you something. Maybe we should change your soil. Did you get enough water on the bus trip? I bought you some new Better salmon. you than me, oh, Richard. You Better you than me. <laughs> Not sure how much more. You can do it! Incoming! <laughs> can we do it, Skay? Please, I'm getting the maple sweats. Just 236 more until we get the Wonky Waffle Wonktacular Grand Prize. Can't we just mail in the box tops without all the eating? And waste the waffles? Maybe we don't need to eat them. We just need to use them. Yeah! <laughs> here, here! Over here! Seat cushion? Anybody? Pre syrup? <laughs> Or we could do waffle boxer shorts. Uh -huh. Waffle eyebrows? <gasps> waffles as waffles! Wait. 31, 32, 33, carry the six. And... We did it! We did it! We did it! So what's the grand prize? A magic pony? A magic circus? <gasps> A magic circus pony? The super swinger. The greatest hammock ever made. Is it a magic hammock? Nope, just a hammock. But look! It contains the latest in anti-flip technology. You contain the latest in anti-flip technology. It comes shipped with a technician to ensure 100% safe setup. <laughs> what doesn't? It has a cup holder. That is awesome. Come on, let's go put this in the mail. <laughs> I wonder how long before it gets here. Efficient. Wow, a box! Sweet acorns. Good day slash evening, hammock enthusiasts. I am Hair E5000, hammock assistant robot, expert class. What does the 5000 stand for? I do not make fun of your last name. Do you think you are better than me? Because you can breathe air and cry tears? Wow, touchy. I am programmed to ensure safe and optimal hammock enjoyment. You complete me? All right. Safely opening the box now. What? Freeze, hammock cowboys. Step one. Clear the lawn of all debris. It's clear. Insufficient. Witness the potential danger of debris. Wow! Your worst case scenarios are in 3D! Look, laser head man, this lawn seems pretty clear to me. So, yeah! I have been sent so that even slobs can get the job done right. Slobs? How dare you call us slobs? Oh, great. Now I drop my armpit cookies. Dave, I think we should listen to Harry. Since when have robots ever caused anyone trouble? Mm. Okay, let's do this.
scanning. Lawn is 100% debris free. Yes! Thank you, Mr. 5000. Please. Mr. 5000 is my father's compu name. Oh, yeah, we did it. We beat the robot. Robot to I seem to have learned the emotion you call hate. Uh, He'll be okay. Thanks, Harry. You taught me how to be even more organized and thorough than I already... But we just... You said... Don't argue. He's got a sappy head. You forgot step two. All right, what is it? Open the box? Prepare the Allen key? Motor oil, 9-volt batteries... What is this stuff? Important safety items you must retrieve. Do not question. But I thought the next step would have something to do with the hammock. Ah, let's go! Scary, what are you doing here on your day off? Just buying some stuff for a robot. Whatever. I need you to come in for an extra shift tomorrow. Sure. After the robot lets me use my hammock, I'll be totally rested. To the battery aisle! I need to stop asking questions. Steel beams. To the hardware store! Motherboard. To the computer store. It's okay, Dave. I got these. Okay, Harry, we found all the stuff you asked us to get, so... Thank you, carbon-based mouth breathers. Huh? Where is the three-quarter-inch printer cable? Ah, uh, This is the robo-life. Harry, what are you doing? You said this hammock wasn't safe. Not safe for fleshy living things, like you. Why, I yada! Hi. I ought to hide. But when do we get to use it? Step three. Observe the safe use of a hammock. What? It seems the roboteur has become the robotee. Observe. Ah. Uh... Step four. Adjust my umbrella. How many steps are there? There are, uh, many. Many, many steps. Are you serious? Robots are always serious, except for the cyber jamboree. That thing is off the hook. But once we do all the steps, you'll let us use it, right? Affirmative. If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Don't you see? He's not helping us out. He's just a robo-jerk. Ah! This is for our own good. Besides, robots aren't programmed for jerkiness. Three more degrees. Especially not one designed for safety and protocol. Scary, hey, and the zap zap. Dave, relax. There you go. What's next on the safety agenda, Harry? And then the boy became a real robot and lived happily ever after. Again, again. <sighs> Once upon a time in the land of Motherboard. <laughs> Safety. Protocol. No sleep. Need. Hammock. Must be safe as a robot. <laughs> Your breakfast smoothie, Harry. Ah, ah. <laughs> Hey, Scaredy, don't forget about your extra shift this morning. It starts in three minutes. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. But work! Negative. So you can be on call for more steps. Okay, gotta go. Ah, ah. Ham hammock, seen it. Massage time. <sighs> ah! ah. I 
to get another job. Ooh. Hammock? Ooh. No, no, no hammock for you! <laughs> Go take your friend home. He's scaring the children. Hammock, robot time! Swing, 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 swing! Snap out of it! Where, where am I? The hammock! Don't you see that Harry is making you crazy? Hey. That rhymed. You're right, Dave. Uh-huh, just like this. Dog and a frog sitting on a log playing a game of... clock. No, about the other thing. I've become more robot than squirrel. Time to get rid of that robot. Ah! Hold it right there, hammock hog. That is my hammock, and I don't have to listen to you. Your sass does not compute. Please get off the hammock. I know you are, but what am I? I didn't want to have to do this. Dave, it's waffle time! What are you doing, Dave? Let's do this! <laughs> Efficient. I am Harry 10,000, hammock assistant. Warning, hammock violation. No, I am protecting this hammock. <laughs> Safety and protocol. I knew robots were trouble. Ah. So relaxing. <laughs> and I don't even care about that debris down there. Yeah, take that, Rock. Uh-oh. Guess we should have listened to the robot. Yup, yup, we should have. 